What's up guys? My name is Danny, aka Thriftfish, and I'm an online fashion reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And today my video is going to be 10 brands that are easy to Google to bring up style names and stock photos of the pieces that you are thrifting or buying buy sell trade or uh, retail arbitrage makes it a little easier, but especially if you are thrifting and getting things you're not familiar with, these are gonna be 10 brands that I'm gonna show you how to look them up on Google and how most of the time you're gonna be able to find the style name and the stock photo for that brand. Now, that said, I know that eBay is very strict on using stock photos as your uh, cover photo. Poshmark, you can get flagged for that too there. It's, uh, I don't think, as strict, but lots of people do it. Um, I try not to do it. I do like to find these things anyway on Google and find the, their style name and their retail price because I like to include those things in my listing. So this can be helpful for that even if you're not using stock photos, which, you know, you shouldn't be. <laughs> but most of the times, unless it's a really old style, you can pretty much find by googling. So we're going to start off with one that you're probably most familiar with being easily able to look up. This is J. Crew, any J. Crew or Madewell piece. This can include Madewell brands such as Wallace, Broadway and Broom, uh, J. Crew brands like Point Sur. Um, it also works for J. Crew Factory. So any J. Crew or Madewell tag will include a style number. So we're going to find that first and then I'm going to show you how to, an example of Googling that, to find the particular style name and stock photo. Okay, so here's our first example. This is a Madewell top. You can see Madewell. So if you go into the material tag, on the material tag at the bottom you'll see style. This is style G1189, and it'll also tell you when it was made. So this was in spring 17. All right, I'm gonna type in Madewell style G1189. And you can see, you can even see the photos pop up right away. Um, it also brings up this style name, textured funnel neck sweater. Um, I will often go right to the images and just verify. Um, I'll take a look and see if it appears on any retail sites because the first um, listing here is actually Poshmark listings. Um, so I'm trying to find some kind of retail site like Nordstrom or even Madewell itself. I don't see that. But this can then, since I found a style name, I can go in, uh, what was it? Funnel neck sweater, Madewell textured funnel neck sweater. Go back. Um, so here are a couple more listings. We see a shop at Toomey, we see a Tradesy, um, but again, not much else, but that's okay. I will still use that in my listing. I'll use the name of the item, um, and then I'll even go over to Poshmark. Madewell textured funnel neck sweater and search. You can see my listing is here. Um, looks like there's really just dresses, but you can see one right here. This listing says it retailed for 128, which is pretty common for Madewell items. I wouldn't doubt it, but I don't have a lot else to back that up so I probably will just leave that out of my listing um, but now we have access to a stock photo if we want it as well as that style name so it can be easily searched so that's Madewell and J Crew. they're always in the same spot they always have a similar format of style name so that one's easily googleable it's that's a word that I'm making up for this video is Athleta 
And this applies to Gap and I believe Banana Republic as well. They're all the same company, but I am most commonly adding Athleta to my closet. So here we have an Athleta uh, wrap or cardigan. Um, if you get the material tag out, here it is. Underneath that is usually this smaller tag. And it says S35277100. All you need to put in is the 352771 in the Google, and that will bring up the style. The, yeah, so that's all I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to enter in Athleta style. Three, five, two, seven, seven, one. Um, and the first thing I see, well, one of the first things I see is this Clarity Cinch sweatshirt, Clarity Cinch cardigan. Um, those are eBay listings. Let's go into the images. You can see this is what it looks like. Um, so there are a couple that brought up the style name. From there, I can use that. Clarity Cinch Cardigan. And then I find a lot more examples. Most of these are resale, but you still get the idea. There's a bunch of stock photos, um, as well as the style name. That way I can come into Poshmark, uh, Clarity Cinch Cardigan. Again, there's my listing at the top. It looks like I did kind of glean off of the other listings that this retailed for $89. A bunch of these say the same things. This one's new with tags and they listed $89. So I did use that in my listing as the retail price. Okay, next is Torrid. Um, I've cracked the code. We've got Torrid here. Again, you're going to go find that material tag. Here it is. Underneath the material tag is that other tag. And this one... I always forget there's a couple numbers on this one. So let me quickly go ahead and search. Torrid style. One one eight four two nine four eight. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, so it is the item number, which is the first number here. And that is that one one eight four two nine four eight see that I don't know so I did google that and down here it actually has torrid.com pulled up the black stretch chalice tunic blouse which sounds like my item and yes so Torrid's actually pretty easy to find things especially just on their website if you use that number um, so here we have the stock photo okay I don't want it anymore I'm making it go away um, you have the original retail price as well as the style name. Um, so Torrid's a pretty easy one to look up if it is not too old. Okay, next up is our good friend, Free People. So we have a Free People hoodie here, pretty distinct. Again, you're gonna wanna head for your material tag. Not all Free People items that I've ever listed or picked up has had this distinct number on it that you need to be able to search it. But if it's newer, I find that last tiny little number on there, oh, focus on it. It won't, but um, it's that OB number. So this is OB848203. They're so tiny sometimes, and sometimes the tag is worn so you it's really hard to read, but this one's nice and clear. So free people, OB. Eight, four, eight. 
maybe that's a six. No, it's an eight. Two, oh, three. And right away, we see it pulled up a Nordstrom Rack link, which is actually one of my favorite sites to go to to find these uh, this information. So it's the Light as a Feather hoodie. I'm actually going to click this link. You have oh, your photo here. I did see it in the color that I have. Um, I can pull that some from somewhere else. But uh, you have your retail price of 168 and your style name is Light as a Feather hoodie. Next, we have Joie. So here is a joie piece. This is actually a slightly older tag, but it's just this little sweatshirt. And again, head for your material tag. Okay, so joie, they have a style slash model number, and you're gonna go ahead and Google that. So this style number is 6955A-27437, a little long. But when I enter that, I come up with a joie animal print pullover. Um, it's just a Pinterest link. Um, so I actually wanna go into images and just see. It is what I am referring to. There's actually a Walmart link here. Um, but let's see what this one says. Yeah, Walmart doesn't really use like stock photo or um, style names. So here we have, this one has a style name, a Nora animal print sweater. So let's see. Aha, so here's more. We've got a Neiman Marcus link. We've got Nordstrom. So then we can go off of that. So we found our style name um, and stock photo. But, oh, we've got Shopbop. Shopbop's a good one to go to. Yes, so if you follow the Shopbop link, then you find this. You've got your retail price of 108, um, as well as the style name. So that one took a little bit more effort to find, but eventually we did get there. Um, Shopbop's really good for seeing uh, retail prices after it's out of stock, um, because some sites will take it off once it's out of stock. Up next is one of my favorite brands to sell, sometimes controversial. My lovely, lovely, lovely Bowden. Again, if it is a newer piece, Bowden is pretty easy to look up. So I'm just gonna put in Bowden. And on that material tag, you're actually looking for this very first number at the top here. Um, I don't know if you can see any of these, but it starts with a W, at least this one does. W, zero. Is that a three or a five? Three, seven, seven. I'm just gonna say it's a three. Uh, yes, so, and you can see first there's even a Bowdoin link here, the Agnes top. Um, this is not the color that I have it in. If I switch, yes, here's the color that I have, giving me my retail price, giving me my style name. So Bowdoin's another easy one to pull up. Next up, we've got Vince. Here's a Vince sweater. We're gonna head to that material tag as we are used to. On the opposite side, the bottom side of the material tag, at the very bottom, there is a style number. So I'm gonna go ahead and Google Vince style. Again, these are all so small. Two, six, four, zero, seven, seven, no, seven, six, zero, three, one. Long. Um, and right away, this is my sweater. If I come over to the images, Poshmark, Tradesy, some sites I'm not familiar with, um, but looks like ombre ama sweater i don't even know if i actually have that let me see vince ama sweater aha well brought up kind of the same stuff maybe not Uh, ombre 
cotton sweater. I'm getting it to come up. Um, sometimes you are going to run into issues where, you know, I will, I think I have it listed as just ombre cotton sweater. Vince ombre cotton sweater. Um, you do have some similar listings here. If I go over to Poshmark. Vince. Ombre, Ooh. ombre cotton sweater. We get some similar things. Yeah, so we're getting, here we go. So all of these are here, kind of seeing they're all the same. You can kind of get ideas of what you should be searching. Let's see, actually. Ooh, did I find them? I did. I found Shop Up. So this is what it's actually called. I don't even think I have this in my current listing. Um, I'm doing more research in this video than I did originally. Um, so we found it. This is the Vince, um, wow, this is gonna help me. Ombre Stitch Drop Shoulder Sweater. It retailed at 365. So, you know, even the first time I didn't put as much effort into researching as I could have and uh, found the actual sweater. This is a newer tag, uh, Theory Top. Again, I'm heading to my material tag. Theory is really nice because they will put an actual style name on this. So this says the tie cuff shirt and it even says pinstripe. So I'm just gonna Google that. I'm just gonna Google Theory. What did I even just say? I always forget, tie cuff shirt. Pinstripe. Yes, so here it is exactly. We got it to come up at Nordstrom. If I head to images, I actually want to pull up instead of the Nordstrom link, the Nordstrom rack, because Nordstrom will not give you the retail price if it's out of stock, but Nordstrom rack will. So, theory pinstripe, tie cuff, button down silk blouse, retails for $325. Here it is. So that's another one checked off. All right, here's another easy get. So here is a Sam Edelman booty, and this uh, this category I'm putting as my lucky brand slash Sam Edelman. Um, they're not the same company, but they both do the same thing. And there are a couple other shoe brands that do the same. So some shoes are really easy to look up, and they are reliable every time. Um, you can see inside the boot here, there's some information. So it says it right here, Melody. So it'll give you a style name. So all I have to do is Google Sam Edelman Melody Booty. And a bunch of things come up. I head to the images. Um, there's an Amazon link, an overstock.com link. Um, so you can see the Melody ankle booties. If you can find a link that you like, you can look up the uh, retail price. You could also probably bring that over to Poshmark and find that. Um, there's probably other listings out there as well. Hey, it's my listing, it popped up. Oh, this is for Mercari, nice. <laughs> so uh, another one, those are easy. I uh, just wanted to throw that in there that you can find that usually printed on the inside of the shoe somewhere. And last but not least, this is a long one to, this is the only piece I had of this brand, so had to get out my bridesmaid dress, but I'm gonna do Show Me Your Moo Moo. Show Me Your Moo Moo again. Uh, usually makes things pretty easy. So I am going in the bottom of this dress trying to find the material tag. Okay, now that we have, oh my gosh, this thing is so flowy. The material tag, and maybe my hair will stay where I want it to be. Never. <laughs> So on the back of the material tag, at the bottom, there is an actual style name. And this I've seen on every Moo Moo piece I've ever picked up. This is the Jen Maxi dress. So then all I have to do is go over to Google. Show me your Moo Moo. Jen, no. Jen Maxi dress. 
uh, comes up right away. Of course, it comes in all different colors because it's supposed to be a bridesmaid's dress, but you can find it. There's a Nordstrom link, showmeyourmoomoo.com. Um, so this one, again, is pretty easy to look up, find your color, uh, find that retail price, and you have a style name right on the tag. So this has been 10 brands that you can easily Google to do more research to find a little bit more info on your item and that can help you price and list and make your item more searchable and desirable. Now I hope this information was useful for you. If you like this video and you want me to try to do more videos like this, please let me know. I definitely like to do this. Researching the items is one of my favorite parts of this process, even though it sometimes can be time consuming, but I'd love to share my tips with you. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this content and want to see more from me, go ahead and click subscribe. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you again real soon.